Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you from the floor today because I thought we should do some yoga today. Just kidding, we're not gonna do yoga. I am finally ready to set up my new studio space and I thought I would take you guys along on the journey as I get it all set up. I'm probably gonna format it the same exact way as it was in my old place. I mean, maybe the books will get moved around a little bit, but same exact style, so it might not even look very different. Uh, but we'll do that today. And then also I wanted to share one collage that I made, well, I started making <laughs> while I was, um, it is sort of in my moving process. I had one book available to me, that one uh, that Dana and Felicia bought for me. It was like that decorating book. And from there, I found some candlesticks and some paintbrushes. And I put them together sort of like the the paintbrushes are candles. They're sitting in the candlesticks. And I thought this was a fun concept. I just couldn't like finish it. It needs a background or some sort of like thing for them to sit on. So maybe once we are finished putting together my desk and everything, we can finish that collage because I would really like to finish it. I just feel like it's missing something. But again, I have no place to work. I have no place to do anything. So let's get that all set up and we can revisit that collage once everything is put together. And just like that, we're back to normal. Now, there is one thing I want to tell you guys and get your advice on before we jump into the candlestick paintbrush collage. So my cutting mat during my move got a little warped. Um, it's a little bit wiggly in two spots. And I wanted to see if this has ever happened to you guys, if you have any advice on what I should do. I did do a little bit of Googling and apparently you can iron the board, get it really hot, and then like put books on top of it and let it flatten while it cools. Um, so I'm gonna try that, but I wanted to see if you guys had any advice or any experience with um, warped cutting mats. I think it's functional still, so I'm gonna use it today, but I would like it to go back to being flat. So I'll report back on my ironing thing, and if you guys have any other ideas, let me know, and maybe we can figure this out together. Um, so now let us jump into the candlestick paintbrush collage and I want to see if I can add a background, do something to it, make it a little bit more fun and uh, I don't know, we'll see what we can do with it. So what I'm thinking for for this is I want to find sort of anything for the candlesticks to sit on. So I don't know if that's going to be like a mound or like a little hill or just like I don't know, an animal's body, I, just anything, maybe a ball, a baseball, I don't know, anything <laughs> that the candlesticks can sit on. And right now I have it on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, but I kind of like the idea of making it more longer and skinnier. So we could elongate the bottom a little bit if we find something really cool to put underneath and keep it maybe a little bit skinnier because the whole thing right now is like really long and skinny. So maybe we just play into that. 
but I don't know. It's really going to depend on what I find to go underneath. So I don't know. Let's start looking for something. So I just found this skull and I kind of like this idea, like imagine the skulls down here and it, the candlesticks are sitting on top of the skull. I don't know, I kind of like that idea. I think it might be interesting and then put the skull on a different landscape. I don't know, I kind of like this idea. I'm gonna pull this out and see what it looks like. So I like this idea. I'm gonna start looking for a background to see if I can sort of put this all together on. So let's pull up my landscapes folder. For whatever reason, I was really loving this tall, skinny sky, and I thought it paired well with the sort of uh, scene down below. And so I wanted to get the skull sort of tucked into the scene, so I cut out the roof of that front barn and a little bit of the grass to tuck the skull in a little bit. Um, I think I really just liked the idea of having a tall, skinny layout for this. I just thought it kind of fit everything really well. The other thing that I did was I didn't think the candlesticks were quite fitting on the skull as well as I wanted them to be. And so I separated them and repositioned the candlesticks in a way that I thought fit a little bit better on top of the skull. So once I got this layout to sort of the point that I thought it was good, I glued the whole thing together and that was it. That's it for today's video guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I did not intend for this to become a spooky one. I think I just might be in the mood because it's October. Anyway, I am excited to be back and I will see you next Thursday for another collage video. Bye!